Yesterday, I made a video related to the Free Gorges Dam. Surprise, surprise. And this video was an unconfirmed report that water was actually going over the top of the dam. Now, let's get some facts first of all. The dam is 185 meters tall. The safety limit is, they say, maximum, no more than 175. So why was the water going over the top? Let me explain this unconfirmed report to you carefully without involving or being very careful not involving the people who gave me the report who were actually at the top of the dam. Mr. Winnie the Pooh, President Xi, the President of China, last visited the dam in two years ago in 2018. I think it was April time, marveling at Chinese engineering, etc., etc. And even two years ago or longer than that, there were still reports that it wasn't safe. It's going to collapse. It's only going to last another 10, 20, 100 years. And these reports have been written down in evidence. At first they said 1,000 years, something like that. Then it went down to 100. Then it went down to, uh, let's say, 10 years. <sighs> Who knows? And Dr. Wang, you may know that I've done some reports about him, an engineer related to the dam, said it's probably got another 30 years to go. You can see a video behind me, right here. <laughs> there it is, on there. This is a live stream, which I do actually have permission of. And you can see the sluice gates all open. And you can see that how many are open? Maybe 9, 10, 11. Not too sure, but it's there. But also, this is another bit of evidence that I want to share with you in this video. I will get there eventually, but again, I'm doing this unscripted and I'm doing trying to be very careful over the whole situation over this. So please bear with me. So basically the claim was yesterday that there was water going over the top of 185 meters and going over the side. And can I say a person I know, a colleague before that actually used to work for me, but now works for a very big British insurance company who has to go to the Free Gorges Dam every year, every year to inspect. And part of the insurance policy of the Free Gorges Dam is through this. You could imagine what kind of company this is, but again, I'm not going to mention the name. Just add two and two together, and you're going to get the answer of four. Basically, his job is to, near enough, give a inspection of the dam, and then basically give a quote of the insurance. The Free Gorges Dam doesn't just have one insurance. It actually has over 100 insurance companies. And the British one that I'm talking about is one of them to do this. And in order to get it insured, it has to be inspected every year. And the person, the colleague, my former actual employee, when I work for a very, very big company, does this because of his engineering background and related to this company. I hope this is making sense so far. Even before you get to the Free Gorges Dam, you have to go through like six security checks to make sure everything is valid, the right paperwork, etc., etc. And before you get to the dam, you cannot bring in anything. You can't have a cell phone. You can't have a camera. You're allowed paper. You're allowed a pen. You're allowed a calculator. And basically, that's all you're allowed to bring in, but you are allowed to use the facilities in the Free Gorges Dam, like the offices, etc., and some of the stationery. And that's exactly what this guy was doing. But he has to walk over the 2.3 metre length of the Free Gorges Dam, where the big five sorry, the five-storey towers are, the big cranes there. And that's what he basically inspects. 
looking over the Free Gorges Dam and wearing Wellington boots and windy, he couldn't see the level. He could not see the level of 175. It was covered with water. It was over that. Okay. Obviously, again, I'm trying to be very careful to be careful over this. I don't want to incite anyone. The only person that I'm inciting at, my mo at the moment is myself. He quoted to me that his Wellington boots were covered up to about 10 to 15 centimetres of water on the very top. And because it was so windy, the water was spraying from the reservoir on the other side that we don't normally see on any kind of video, spraying the water in and then gushing over to the other side. And that's why I created the video, because he was saying to me in a very, can, what word can I say? Not in a direct way, but in an indirect way. Because, again, he doesn't want to indicate himself in this situation. And don't worry, I'm not going to give any names or any name of companies, etc., etc. Saying that this is what was happening at the top of the Free Gorges. And even some people were strapping themselves on with a safety kind of harness when they're walking. On that particular day, he said there were no cars, no vans, no nothing, no machinery allowed on the top. And that's why I produced a video yesterday. Now, some people will say, yes, it's pure clickbait, blah, 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 blah. Well, my opinion of clickbait is if you are a YouTuber, you want people to click. Yeah? When people click... You get more views, you get more likes, you get more comments, you get dislikes, you get points of view. It's interesting. So, yeah, it's a clickbait. But then so is every YouTuber. So, that was the evidence. And it's an unconfirmed report because there's no pictures. Because you're not allowed to bring a cell phone onto the Free Gorges Dam. In fact, no one is. Um, the closest you can get, if you are allowed, is the tourist area, and you can zoom in with a camera. But it, it's so far away, it's going to be really difficult to do that. The other thing is the webcam. Now, this streaming webcam you see here is actually happening now. But <clears throat> some earlier front stream, front Free Gorges webcams were so kind of... Can you see? I'm going to show you some pictures and you can actually see some of the water coming over the top. It's not clear, but if you look at it very closely for a long time, you can see that this water is overflowing at the top. The water at that time last week was over 175 meters. Not because of me, not because of numbers, not because of any newscaster, because of a person that I know who used to work for me a long time ago, job, is to inspect the cranes, the five-story cranes there. And then that's what he saw. And that's the information I pass to you. Thank you very much for your time. My name is James Cooper.